welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ballistic Sejuani. This is going to be a deck that's going to be similar to Teemo Sejuani, a deck that you're probably pretty familiar with, but we're going to be playing Ash for our other champion instead of Teemo. There we go. So basically the person that donated for this deck, this is just this is another uh, donation deck here on our meme tier Monday, you know, said that they've seen, you know, like we've, we've played a lot of Teemo Sejuani and wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit. So we're going to be playing Ash for our second champion. Um, basically, Feel the Rush with those those two champions with Ash and Sejuani is incredible. And if you if you have a leveled up Sejuani, which that's our plan, is to level up Sejuani quickly with the help of Ballistic Bot and Puff Caps, dealing damage to the enemy Nexus. And if we have a leveled up Sejuani, of course, it'll Frostbite their and you know like all of their uh, their whole team. And if they get their whole team frostbitten, that should be five frostbites that level up our ash instantly. And then, of course, if if like all their stuff's frostbitten because of Sejuani and we have a leveled up ash, then none of their things can block and we can attack in for a lot of damage. And that's kind of like the, the point of our deck here and the point of ash. It allows us to alpha strike against a whole bunch of frostbitten units that Sejuani frostbites. Okay, so in order to enable that, of course, we're going to need to be dealing the Nexus damage. We have the Puff Cap Peddler that whenever we cast our spells, puts Poison Puff Caps on random cards of their deck. We also have the Chump Wump to create some Mushroom Clouds for some more Puff Caps. One Clump of Wumps in here as well. Um, so we're going to be using those to try to get all the Puff Caps on their deck. Our Ballistic Bot creating the Ignition to do damage to the enemy Nexus. So that's how we get that uh, Nexus damage in. We have some Starlet Seers, of course, to... Um, also grow the top ally in our deck and some shared spoils to help draw that ally. Uh, both Mystic Shot and Aftershot can give us some Nexus damage to level up Sejuani, or if we have a leveled up Sejuani, we can use those to Frostbite their whole team. We have some protection for all these units because these kind of units we want to stay in play. Ballistic Bot turn after turn creates Ignitions. Peddler, stay in play, get more Puff Caps. You know, Starlet Seer, play, stay in play, get more um, plus one, plus one. So as long as those stay in play, that's good for us. We have some protection for them with Troll Chant and Elixir of Iron. And also Frostbite cards can be some prediction. Uh, <laughs> sorry. And also those Frostbite cards can be some protection. That's what I meant to say. For those. And so we have Brittle Steel and Flash Freeze, one of each. And then three Harsh Winds. Those can all be protection for those cards as well. Trying to talk too fast. All right, Alpha Wild Claw is just a really big threat that can, um, you know, close out games for us or swing games in our favor. Also a wonderful target for Starlet Seer for the plus one plus ones. And add it all together, that's our deck. It's Ballistic Sejuani. So we're going to go play our five games. We're just playing them in normal because it's meme tier day. And let's see how we do. Tippy Tips, what's up, my man? How's it going? All right, let's see. So Wild Claw is definitely gone. I'm not sure exactly what Mystic Shot's gonna do. It doesn't kill either champion and kind of some of the cards they play it doesn't really necessarily kill. Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna keep uh, Chump Wump. It's a nice blocker, nice size. I learned my scars. All right, go ahead and earn your scars. Has that ever been like a thought that's crossed your mind ever that you want to earn scars? I'm not sure if that's something I want to earn. Alright, I'm sorry, Starlet Seer. I'd love to keep you in play, bud, but just gotta kill that one mana five power unit. This is quite a mushroom hand. Double peddler, triple chump lump. We'll take what we need to survive. We got a full house. I'm out of their league. Would a mushroom help? So this should be a transfusion, I would think. Which does mean I don't get to brittle steel first. It's also probably just saying, why block? Because I don't really need to block there. We'll just take the four. I've got this. I 
I like your style. I like your face. I like your face. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Or oh, whoops, am I right? You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Summer. They grow up. Alright, let's give them a bunch of puff caps. We'll get that started. So they got 22 now. But this is going to be kind of messy. Who would dance with you? This is going to be kind of messy. It's going to level up Vladimir. We do know that they have transfusion. That's something we need to watch out for. Man, that still puts me down to two. Would a mushroom help? Guess I need to do this. I'm kind of thinking that they'll probably like transfusion this unscarred reaver to buff it up. An additional two. Strength through suffering. Yep, and I was gonna wait till after they did that, and now Brittle Steel, the Unscarred Reaver. <sighs> Just saved me three life. Oh gosh. That still kills me. Yeah, even if I. that bite, still gonna kill me. Great hand, GG's. If only that our one of Brittle Steel was one of the three harsh winds. Still kills me. Vladimir is pretty cool. There you go. Oh no! Replaying the same deck. Well, they can't be as aggressive as that last game, right? Like that. That's as good as their deck gets, right? So we have Ballistic Bot on turn two. I'm just gonna keep everything. I want Feel the Rush in the late game. And obviously, I love Harsh Winds. In this matchup, we saw kind of saw that last game. Harsh Winds would be really nice. I've got this. Humanity is obsolete. Okay, good. They don't have. They're not quite as aggressive. They don't have the two drop to turn that into a five two immediately. Scar Grounds is going to be trouble. I won't fail. But I do have... do have double Harsh Winds. And so hopefully double Harsh Winds keeps me alive. Tell me mask, secure me tail, start to die. Drum is on the job. Can you improve perfection? Rise, metal brethren. Okay, yeah, we didn't we didn't have hardly any <laughs> so many tiny Oh if mushrooms could talk. Oh whoops, am I right? They brave or stupid. Ha! This is fun, yes. Kinda of was I kind of wish Mystic Shant would help out. But it doesn't. Excuse you. But I wish it did. <laughs> so 
So my plan right now is to save Mystic Shant. It can be it can be definitely useful if we get a leveled up Sejuani in play. We're already, you know, we're at three out of five now with the Sejuani. Let's do this, see what they do. I can maybe have like Sejuani take down the uh, the Mighty Poro. Or try to take that thing down. Maybe the Mighty Poro. Probably the, the safer play. That would have been useful for them drawing a puff cap this turn. That would have been really nice. To level up Sejuani on the spot. Alright, but they um, played something, so now we get to play this ignition. So that's good. So I don't even need to... Don't even need to um, cast Harsh Winds. So let's see. So the Mystic Shot. The thing is, like, these things are going to... They're going to survive damage from this, so they're going to buff up. So, like, the Unscarred Reaver and Scar Ground, like, those things are going to be three power each. Because I Mystic Shot there. Oh, they survive. They all get the plus one, plus zero because of the scar grounds. That makes life a little worse. The palm before the storm. Let's put me down to four. Show them our teeth. Or see if they. I was keeping Troll Chan in case they played other spells, but they didn't, they didn't play anything. But still, that's kind of a problem moving forward how they still get to buff up their units during combat. All right, I'm just going to give them a whole bunch of puff caps here and pass the turn. And then next turn, I'll have Harsh Winds plus Troll Chant to try to stay alive. I don't, I don't know if an attack's worth it. Because basically, if I don't die this turn, then next turn, feel the rush with Ash. Um, you know, I, I feel pretty good about killing them next turn. If we don't die here. So I'm glad no Vladimir. I guess I should go like this, like this. Not a meddler. It would make sense just to do that instead, I guess. They're both gonna die anyway, but I do a lot more damage here. Oh wait, never mind. No, because we don't kill this thing. Eh, I don't even care about killing that thing. I keep on expecting them to use some kind of combat trick and then, you know, me saving the troll champ for the combat trick, right? I, 
I definitely expected a combat trick there. Okay, well this is gonna be more difficult since I just had my Sejuani die. That's this is gonna be a lot more difficult. Hey, <laughs> yep. I've gotten plus seven from the scar grounds. I hope they don't take the Sejuani in my hand, because I want it to stay in there for the champion spell. Um, going with Feel the, feel the Rush is, is, of course, a spell for the Puffcap Peddlers. Give them six more Puffcaps. Okay. That'll do. We survive. Hmm. I've seen a lot of the like, Garen Aurelian Soul, which is always tough. This one has Zoe in it as well. All right, Feel the Rush, you're going to go... Keep Ash. I, I could keep Field of Rush. No, we'll mulligan it. Okay, cool. We got like some nice little protection and stuff like that. We see through all. Dauntless Vanguard. That was not a card that I was expecting. Secession. They got me there. Just gonna pass the turn, save the spell mana. We got plenty of good protection. Show me a target. Well, that's too bad. Because I definitely assume they're going to block, and then, you know, I got to use one of these cards. Um, I wanted to use, share, you know, I was hoping that they would place. Yeah, you know, like maybe not have like a very good blocker, and then I um, get to hit them and then cast shared spoils. So repost doesn't do it. They could have like double hush, double. You know, they they could have two of the two mana cards, and kill my ash. Two pill cascades, a hush and a pill cascade. Well, we're good at drawing Ash. Maybe I should just Mystic Shot them and then Shared Spoils this turn. These are our lands. An auspicious season. Well, we're going to get rid of their blocker, so now I can have a free Shared Spoils next turn. I don't have to use the Mystic Shot. But I guess using the Mystic Shot would start the level up process for Sejuani. So sure, I'll go ahead and do it. I definitely wish I would have kept Field of Rush. Definitely wish I would have kept Field of Rush. Okay, so we're at one out of five. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. You're covered. Is a sea all. No closer. I will hold the line. Blessed by snow. 
That ash that I just played was going to be a 6-4 ash, but it was the one that cost zero. I would have much, you know, like this would have been a 5-3 ash, and then this one, like I would have, like, that was, that was like the worst card in our, in our entire hand to hit to cost zero. I'm going to be playing the Mushroom Clouds this turn, of course, not only to help out the Starlet Seer, but also get them out of my hand as far as Targon's Peak is concerned. Yep, there's, there's their hush. So yeah, so that was the the worst card to hit, because we could have had a 6-4 Ash instead of the 5-3. Oh, right oh, Jump Womps. I got ways to find me mushrooms. I fight for the fallen. Mm. Pay dirt. Blessed by snow and stars, this would be a good winter. Okay, good. I'm glad they didn't just single combat right here. Right, I'll put him down to 13. Good harsh winds draw. We'll just play that. And then attack. And not give them any blockers. And try to win this game. Level up Ash. I think we got this. Hold back the darkness. Boo. Okay, so they did have the single combat, so good thing they played that Egghead Researcher. The time is right. Strike now. This would be a good winter. Okay, cool. No more pumps. That will do. 15 damage. GG's. Two and one. That game just showed like how powerful Ash is and like why why we're playing like Ash instead of Teemo. Cause Ash can just win games on its own also. It's it's a really, really strong champion. And now we get the mirror match against the Teemo. Alright, so channel point prediction is up. How do you think we're gonna do against the Teemo version? Um so I love Ash in this matchup. I think we're gonna mulligan these two and maybe even just the chump lump also. Okay, this gives me a better curve. Two, three, four. Maybe I should be keeping the Chump Womp. I don't know. That one's that one's a tough call. Because the Chump Womp just makes a lot of these other cards much better. Um, sweet. Got that point of damage for leveling our Sejuani. That's, that's always good. Oh, 
just season. This one's gonna be close. I can definitely see this going either way. That was pretty nice, them drawing those puff caps there. Our Sejuani's now at three. Bot plus Mushroom Cloud. Save two spell mana. Next turn, Sejuani. Have two spell mana, for, one for Ignition. Warm hearts and hot soup. One size that papers now faces. How about another round? Yeah, probably gonna want to feel the rush on nine. Can you improve perfection? This would be a good winter. We see through all. Safety disengage. Okay. So Juani's at four to five. System upgrade. I'm gonna lead with this and give them priority to play something, see what they play. Join me if you want to live. Carved from the savage. And that's why. Bow to no one. Stand and fight. Perfect. Level up Sejuani. Man, we have done really well at having them drop puff caps. We're so skillful. So much skill in that. So talented. Yeah, we're we're looking good right here. There was a little fella asking for me. That will frostbite the whole team, which levels up Ash. My aim is true. Yeah, Ash actually works really well in this deck. Maybe Ash is the better champion instead of Teemo. For this deck. Because, like, what are they going to do? Like, I'm going to just... Ballistic bot frostbite their whole team and then attack but can't block. Now begins a new era of peace. Ash is amazing. And all Shadow Isles. They're gonna be very fearsome. I'm glad that we have the frostbite that we do. And like the extra harsh winds and brittle steel and stuff like that. We're gonna be looking for those cards. I'm not sure. I guess Aftershock's a little slow as far as like killing something, because it costs four mana. Um, the bot and then, you know, Ignition, Shared Spoils is a nice little combo, but again, it's a little slow. Let's give it a try. Control Chan helps protect bot. Once I step papers, now faces. Oh, yes. Curse Keeper. Retro. System upgrade. row. Okay, we'll go to thirteen. So now the question is don't start growing something or giving them puff caps. I think grow. Yeah, it's a thing like grow for, for fearsome block and just blocking these things in general. I know I'm not setting up shared spoils by playing the peddler, but I'm going to just play the peddler, get that in play. Now I'll have two three threes and a two three. And still like harsh winds next turn. Good chance I'm doing that. Join me if you want to live. Yeah, 
That's that's pretty scary. Try this and jump lump. Oh, good grass the undying. I was gonna say I could see them taking this, but I guess not. Could mean harrowing. All the world on one arrow. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Blessed by snow and stars, this would be a good winter. Okay, so that does turn on the Shared Spoils, but I do need to Harsh Winds this turn. So not like the best time to turn on Shared Spoils. I guess maybe I should have maybe I should have just played one of those instead of two. And I could have been left with the two mana plus um, Harsh Winds. Um, yeah, this is kind of awkward, right? Because now I want to play the Shared Spoils. Yeah, I, I wish I would only played one of those instead of the two. I should have just played one, especially with the top deck Starlet Seer. That really punished me for only for playing the second Mushroom Cloud. I, don't, I again don't still don't think I played the shared spoils. Sejuani's leveled up. Cause I think I keep the mana for feel the rush. Oh, that's their ephemeral. That means they grabbed another. They grabbed another. Yeah, because that means they have two of these, right? Yeah, because they have Stalking Shadows. Let's do that. Forgive me, Averosa. All right, so I should have never kept the Shared Spoils. Definitely should not have kept that card. That was too slow of a card. I need Because I need to find like these cards, like Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron. Those cards are really important in that matchup. I need to find those and more Troll Chance and Flash Freeze. Right? Like I need those cheap spell, like combat spells. Not, not the shared spoils. I should not have kept that card. Uh, Mystic shot also really important there. You know, two mana be able to answer, answer stuff. So those are the cards I need to look for: brittle steel, elixir of iron, mystic shot, troll chant. Need to look for more of those. We we had some, but I need more. So good, good lesson learned there. All right, but anyway, that was ballistic Sejuani. I think this deck went. I think it went pretty good. You know, I really liked the ash. I think the ash was really powerful. 
um, for this deck. We did, you know, like those those aggro matchups can be kind of tough, and that's why I love those cards against aggro. Maybe we need a little bit more of, of these kind of cards. I don't know. But the Ash was really impressive, and it was really impressive with the, um, you know, with like the Sejuani that would level up everything. Um, maybe we don't need Alpha Wild Claw. Maybe that's maybe that's a card that we we just don't really need because like those those late games we seem kind of fine in anyway. So like I love the Harsh Winds. Harsh Winds was awesome, but I kind of want more of that stuff. Like maybe more. Maybe instead of Alpha Wild Claw, maybe we play an additional like Flash Freeze, Brittle Steel, that kind of stuff. Clump of Wumps, like these these low cost cards. Um, maybe that's what we need because the aggro matchups are going to be difficult for us. I think that's that's where we're going to struggle the most is with aggro. And so maybe that's the thing is we don't really need Alpha Wild Claw against aggro. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, there, there we go. You know, like, yeah, try, trying to level up Sejuani and then, you know, have leveled up Sejuani. You know, like, I guess that's what, that's what we really need, like, that last, that last game, too. We need, like, leveled up Sejuani and then Mystic Shot to Frostbite their stuff. All that. Uh, good game, though. Good, good good game and uh good deck you know we we uh learned a lot and um that was a fun one to play and uh yeah i was very impressed with the power of ash you know usually we have teemo in this deck very impressed with ash all right but anyway those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there leave those comments let me know what you think of ash instead of teemo in this deck and uh what would you what would you do to shore up your aggro matchup in this kind of deck what would you take out what would you put in uh, i'd love to hear those suggestions um, so let me know about that. All right, but that's it here for Ballistic Sejuani. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.